<laughs> what is up, YouTube? It's Kuda Below here coming at you with another exciting video. Yes, in this one, I'm going to be reviewing the Ivers Puget Sound Clam Chowder with Bacon. Net weight 24 ounces. This is the one that's on sale at Costco right now. Loving every minute of this clam chowder. By the way, now would be a good time to go ahead and hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to this channel. If you have subscribed to this channel, thank you so much. I totally appreciate you and appreciate the support. With that being said, oh, 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 -R -E. oh, my God. It is delicious. It is. I can't say enough good things about this clam chowder, what I'm getting is the creaminess of the cream that's in there. And then what you've got is you've got nice little chunks of clam that's in there. You got some potato that's in there. And then what I did to like kick it up a notch was I threw in just a little pinch of salt because uh, it's okay on its own. But I think maybe just adding like just a little, like a little pinch of salt kind of kicks it up an extra notch. Also, what I did was I threw in some of my garlic chive microgreen sprouts that I grew uh, and I'll have to do a separate video on that, but basically just that garlic chive kind of flavor, delicious. If you don't want to go through the hassle of making your own microgreens and, and going through that, like, you know, it doesn't take that long, maybe about five to seven days or so you get some nice sprouts. Like you can see right there, what you can always do is just get some chives from the grocery store, health food store, wherever you go shopping at, chop up some chives and throw them in here. I guarantee you it will be a, another level of flavor that is going into your clam chowder into this whole experience, but it's delicious. I'm getting, like I said, the creaminess of it. You do really taste the clams, which is kind of nice. And it's that fresh kind of clam taste, not like a fishy bad taste or anything, but it's delicious. You can definitely tell the freshness that it, that it's delicious. It's just, I can't say enough good things about it. I don't know what else to say more than that, but it's, it's pretty good. What I did was, uh, the, container is 24 ounces and right now at Costco it's on sale I think the normal price is like 12 bucks or something like that right now it's on sale for like eight dollars so it's pretty much like three or four dollars off and you actually get two of these you actually get two 24 ounce containers so basically you're getting 48 ounces of heaven is basically the best way to describe it and it's just delicious so on sale right now at Costco I think that's going to go through right now it's March 2021 it's probably going to go through like the end of the month uh, and then I hope that they continue to put this on sale. Maybe every other month would be nice if you're paying attention, Costco people, or maybe like once every three months. But I can't wait longer than that. I'm just going to have to buy it at full price if, if that's the case, because this stuff is delicious. I basically bought enough for this whole week because <laughs> that's how I want to enjoy my clam chowder. Anyways, there is a subscription button down there below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, subscribe to this channel. Also down in the description, there's some links to some pretty cool products. Make sure you check those out. And also there's a link to my Facebook page. It's Cooter Malloy Product Reviews. So make sure you hit that up. But yeah, basically the quick summary of this video is that I took the clam chowder. I threw it into like a little uh, saute pan, basically heated it up for about a minute, maybe two minutes on medium heat. It actually warms up pretty quick. And then basically put it into a bowl, as you can see here. But you get you get some potatoes, you get some clam in there. The flavor is delicious. And then, like I said, to kick it up an extra notch, what I do is I put a little tiny pinch of salt in. And then I also put in some of these garlic chive microgreens. And like I said, if you don't have the garlic chive microgreens, you can put parsley in here. You can put some chives in here, just chop them up. It kind of gives it that fresh, earthy, kind of fresh, grassy kind of a finishing flavor at the end. And it's definitely delicious. So, Cooter Malloy, and I will catch you all on the next exciting video.